Okay, Algebra 1, Chapter 7, Dash 5, Adding and Subtracting Polynomials. Very basic, at its very basic form, when we add and subtract anything, we have to find common terms. If we add and subtract fractions, we have common denominators. If we add or subtract exponents, we have to have common bases. So it's the same for polynomials. And again, the word poly just means many. Last week, we talked about monomials, where it was just one term. So this week, we will have... Uh, we will have more than one term. So let's start off with a basic one term. If I'm going to take 4a plus 12a, do those have like terms? Well, let's substitute some, some things in there. Something that starts with a that I like a lot is apples. And so if I have four apples and I add to that 12 apples, then I'm going to have 16 apples. So that tells me that they're like bases and I can go ahead and add those. Now, on the other hand, I also like bananas. So if I have four apples and 12 bananas, then I just have four apples and 12 bananas. I cannot put them together because they don't have like terms. And so those are just some monomials. Let's step it up and let's go to some binomials. So here we have some two-term polynomials, which makes them binomials. A couple of different ways we can do this. Um, when we used to add terms, let's say 46 and 84, we lined up the ones column and we lined up the tens column. Okay, We can do that same thing here and we can line up our x squareds and then we can line up our x's and we can just do what it tells us to do these are both positive so 4x squared plus 12x squared is going to give me 16x squared negative 2x minus 4x is going to give me negative 6x because x squared and x are different, then I can't go any further. I don't have any more like terms. So now let's look at a subtraction problem. Okay. Now, the subtraction problem changes the signs of everything in the parentheses. So I would rewrite this to negative 2x plus 4. Then that's going to change that to a minus 8x. And that's going to change that to a minus 6. Now, if you wanted to do the column, you could have negative 2x plus 4. And then minus 8x minus 6. And then just do what the columns tell you to do. Negative 2x minus 8x is negative 10x. And then positive 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Okay. Now, let's talk about order. Order is very important, especially in our answer. We want to take the exponent with the highest degree, that is the highest, um, the variable with the highest exponent, we want to put it first. So, oops, I kind of miss, messed this up, I'm sorry. There. Okay, remember that that negative sign changes all the signs of the second set of parentheses. So I'm going to rewrite this. Then that's going to be plus 4x 
minus 2x squared. And then minus a negative 3 is going to be plus 3. So let's put them in order. Then the second one is going to be minus 2x squared plus 4x, again keeping everything in line, and then plus 3. And so now you'll see uh, something interesting, 2x squared, pardon me, minus 2x squared is going to cancel. Negative 8x plus 4x is going to give me negative 4x, and then 4 plus 3 is going to give me 7. So it's just negative 4x plus 7. Watch those signs. Combine only the terms that are the same. And if you don't have a term that's the same, just leave it alone. So that's about six minutes on that one. That's chapter 7, section 5, adding and subtracting polynomials.